Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be looking at a huge list of new items coming to Harbor Freight in 2021. Now some of these items are already in stores, but others are coming soon to a store near you. So if you see an item that you like in this video, you can contact your local Harbor Freight to see if it's available or not. And if you want more detail on any of these items and the video is not clear enough, not to worry, you can go to my website and under the extras tab, you can see all these items in high resolution image and get all the information you want. So what I'm going to do today is show you these new items and give you my impressions of some of these new items, whether they are good items that you should be considering or whether they are junk that you should stay away from. And if you like getting the latest information about Harbor Freight, whether it be savings coupons or new item reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I post a new video or a coupon for Harbor Freight. Alright, so let's jump right in and see what Harbor Freight has in store for us for the new year. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these new items here. First of all, they're starting off with some new pry bars. You can see the Quinn pry bars here, 33 inch, 24 inch. Now these are indexing pry bars, means you can switch the position of the head and they're pretty good. I mean, they're, they seem nice and beefy and sturdy. I looked up these items and they look pretty decent. Uh, the price is a little bit high, but then again, you'd have to compare it to other brands to see if they're equally expensive. But if you want a good solid pry bar, they look pretty good. Uh, this right here, the 20 volt lithium ion uh, light from Hercules. Um, you know, it's only 280 lumens. To me, it seems a little bit expensive at $27.99. And they have another one also I'll show you a little further down for Bauer. Um, I think maybe it's a couple bucks cheaper, but the same general principle. Uh, to me, it, it seems a little silly and a bit bulky. The only convenience is that you can use the batteries for Hercules or Bauer, depending on which one of these you get. Uh, but it's only 280 lumens. I would suggest for this price range, unless you really like this design, I like the other one, uh, the 300 lumens uh, one that's like a stick design. And it has uh, basically just a, you can use a generic battery. You don't have to use a, a family specific battery like this one. So the other one, you just pop in one battery. So you can have multiple batteries on hand and just pop it in and keep on going. Gives you more light. It's cheaper than this one. And I think it's a generally a better package. And this one does not say if it has multiple light settings where the other one does. So I'll put up a link to that one in case you want to check that out. Moving right along, let's see, we have these blowers, which uh, look pretty decent, 79 bucks, 750. These are good in case you have um, a project that you're working on that you need to keep the air circulating. Uh, you have a flooding situation where you need to, uh, you know, clear out the, um, the floor because it got really, really wet and you need to keep, keep these focused on air flowing right over the floor itself. And it does have the ability to plug in different outlets to it and so forth. I mean, it has outlets. You can plug in different items to it. So it's uh, fairly convenient in that respect. Uh, this Drummond uh, submersible pump, I think they've had some variation of this for a while. So this may be just an improved item. And that's one of the things I'm going to point out as we go along, that not every single item is brand spanking new some of the items are improvements on what they already had and some of the items are like repackaging or rebranding or something along those lines so while some of these items are brand new some of the other ones are just modifications that they're making to existing items uh, this one i think is uh brand new uh, i think it's just adding on another power supply bank to what they already have because they have a few already uh, these lights are pretty good 2200 lumens 20 volts now this is not too bad where this one you pop in a hercules battery and you get quite a lot of uh, power out of it 2200 lumens that's pretty strong 44 bucks not bad uh this one 2000 lumens a little expensive for just one of these it would have been nice if they had for this price included like a tripod or something that you could uh stand it up higher to light up an entire room uh, 20 volt or it's or it's 20 or 120 so I guess you can plug it into the wall that's pretty convenient uh, 2000 lumens that's pretty good a nice work light should light up a room pretty good pretty nicely this will be here the 10 gallon 175 psi ultra quiet compressor this seems to be um, a new item added on to uh, their existing fortress line 
So this is pretty decent. Uh, it seems to have like two heads to it. Maybe it uh, you know, gives you faster pump up and so forth. I, I don't know. I haven't seen this item yet, but it does look fairly decent. Like I said, the uh, red and the black compressor, as I mentioned before, they're going to be going away. So all you're going to be having is the McGraw and the Fortress and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, if you want the red one or black one, uh, don't hesitate. Don't wait too long. Get into the stores and grab them if you want to, because they're probably going to be going away in the next few months. Now, one of the problems with Harbor Freight, though, is that when they put things on clearance, they don't knock down the price. So you still got to use a coupon if you can on certain items or wait for them to be on sale. But... Uh, don't think you're going to run into the store and get them at half price or something because they just don't do that. They sell them cheap enough, I guess they figure, so they're not going to knock them even lower. This uh, adjustable ball hitch here looks pretty decent, nice and beefy looking. 99 bucks. Price is beefy looking too. <laughs> but then again, I haven't compared it to other uh, brand names, so uh, they may all run about the same price. This light, I can tell you right here, it seems a little expensive to me. Their LED lights for vehicles and so forth, uh, they, all they all tend to run a bit too much, I, I believe. Uh, you can go to Amazon and get lights like this a whole lot cheaper. So, you know, it, like these lights down here, right here, uh, 129 bucks for this light, 30 bucks, 27.99, you know, 30 bucks. 30 bucks for these, they seem a little expensive to me, but if you go on Amazon, you can hunt down different brands and they'll be a lot cheaper than this. I mean, if you're really into Harbor Freight and you really want to get it from them, fine, go ahead, no problem. But what I'm saying is if you really want to save money, go to Amazon, you can find them a bit cheaper there. This is convenient, uh, $16.99 if you want to do your own windshield removal and you know pop in a new one. Uh, uh, if you're in that business, you can get it here cheap now, or if you want to do it yourself, you can get it here cheap now. Because I don't know where these would be available. I mean, I guess you can get anything on the internet nowadays. You can go to Amazon, eBay, or probably and get any of these if you really wanted to, but hey, it's convenient right there, Harbor Freight. This is nice and cheap. A paint bucket grid for $3.99, pretty cheap, even cheaper if you use a 20% off coupon, so that's not too bad. Uh, the Hercules uh, cutoff saw, 169 now, you know, it's not a bad price, but I would say I believe I've seen the DeWalt for about the same price. I think what Hercules, uh, I think what Harbor Freight is trying to do with the Hercules brand, they're trying to compare themselves and um, go up against DeWalt with this line. And I don't know if they're ready to do that. I mean, they're trying to do it right out of the gate. I think maybe over time it may be comparable, but I don't know. I haven't, uh, they haven't been around long enough to have the uh, reputation for being that great. So even though they're trying to be, you know, a good quality tool and professional grade, let's say, um, whether anybody will take them that seriously, I don't know yet. Uh, time will tell. And here you have the Bauer for $34.99 for a uh, palm sander. Um, I don't know, 34 bucks seems a little bit expensive. I mean, it's okay, but I think you could probably get a Black & Decker or uh, something at Walmart probably cheaper than this. Again, if you're into saving money. If you just like the Bauer brand, then go ahead. That's a decent price right there. That's not bad. Here you have also, this is not, uh, it may be a brand new item. I don't know if this is the same charger that comes with the tools when you buy them or if this is an improved charger. But before they didn't sell the charger by themselves. Now you can get the charger by itself if that's all you want. And like I said, this may be an improved charger because it says Rapid Plus. But then again, we know Harbor Freight is a little, you know, footloose and fancy free with their wording. So what it, whether it really means a rapid charger or not, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, this may be the same as the regular one or improved. But at least if yours breaks, you don't need to buy another tool. You can just buy the charger by itself. And here's some different blades you can get. Uh, Banks uh, Framing uh, Nailer, $89.99. And here they have some uh, little step stools. These may be brand new items. I don't think they had these before. So, um, you know, for eight bucks, that's pretty darn cheap. And again, you can always use a 20% off coupon. Save yourself some money. Why not? Here you have a huge hose. I mean, 69 bucks, 100 foot high volume watering hose. I guess if your house catches on fire, you got you know, you don't need a fire engine. You got the hose right there. Uh, clamp it onto something and you, you got some high volume. I guess if you have a fire hydrant outside nearby, you can, you know, hook up to one of those and, um, you know, turn it on. I'm not saying to do that. That's probably illegal. Only uh, the cities and the municipality can probably do that. But I'm saying that may be what it could be used for. 
And here we have a 10 inch uh, dual bevel sliding compound saw from uh, Bauer. Uh, this is a new one. Um, it may be uh, one of their older brands, the uh, Warrior or, or something like that, one of their cheaper brands, Pittsburgh, that they have rebranded into the Bauer. That could possibly be. Bauer is trying to be uh, lower end, but not too low. Because, I mean, 249 that's about what I paid for a cobalt saw that I have. Um, you know, it's probably similar uh, quality as far as the Bauer. You can go check out that video if you want to, to see more about the cobalt brand. Cobalt has uh, pretty good tools, and like I said, they do have saws like this. So if you want to go check them out, see what their current prices are, see if they're cheaper than Bauer or about the same, and then you can choose which one you like better. And here we have a propane portable heater, 89 bucks. Uh, it's expensive, but you know these guys put out a lot of heat. One thing to uh, watch out for is it is propane. So be sure to have proper ventilation so you don't make yourself sick and pass out or something like that. These do have to be ventilated properly if you're going to use them. Again, this is something that we in the West over here do not use these very much. But if you're in the Midwest or the East, you really need some good, strong, you know, heaters uh, for when those really, really cold days. These pads are brand new items. Uh, these have uh, not been around uh, up until now. And uh, they're basically they're improving their in existing pads and adding more to it because the existing pads are not the best quality and they only had three pads the the coarse the medium and the fine and now they're adding the ultra fine to it and these are the Bauer pads the other pads were like uh, four to six dollars something like that and these are nine dollars now I don't know considering these are Bauer products you may not be able to use a 20% off coupon so you're looking at $9.99, you're going to have to wait for a Bauer discount coupon, which they do put out on occasion. And I do make videos about those, and I do put those coupons up on my community tab. So like I said, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time I put up a coupon. Because if you like shopping at Harbor Freight, I do put up coupons all the time. Every time they release a good one, I put it on my community tab, and you can check that out and get a good discount coupon. Moving on down, here you have a uh, new flashlight, 40 bucks, 3,700 lumens. That's a pretty strong flashlight right there. So that seems like a nice one to look into. And if you like the Bauer brand, you get a Bauer bag now, $12.99. That's not very expensive. I mean, 16-inch tool bag, six pockets, that's pretty decent. I mean, 13 bucks, you can carry a bunch of tools in there. Here you have uh, the uh, angle grinder uh, with rotating body from Har uh, Bauer, $69.99. That's not too bad. I think this is basically adding, expanding the line. This is not one that they already had and rebranded. I mean, it could have been maybe a Pittsburgh Pro, uh, not a Pro, just Pittsburgh, uh, Chicago Electric, one of those, and they put a new body and so forth on it. That could be, that may be very, very possible. Here you have the Doyle retractable knife. Uh, this is a little different. This is an older design. I really don't like these uh, designs. I prefer the flip type where they flip open and, uh, you know, you can use the blade. These are very, very dangerous because if you put the right pressure on it, the blade can slip out of there and cut your fingers. And they've tried to change the, the head on it so it doesn't do that as much. But the older ones were notorious for slicing people's fingers. So... I don't like these. I like the flip type much, much better. And here you have some uh, light bulbs and, um, you know, plugs and so forth that Harbor Freight is expanding their electronics lines with different uh, plugs. Like I said, programmable stuff, smart plugs, all that kind of stuff. Quite a few different, uh, different items that they're adding here and cameras. What they're doing now is they're bringing in the Genie line to sell in their stores. And, you know, it's not too bad, but I would say a lot of these things in the electronics department, uh, Harbor Freight tends to charge a bit too much compared to other brands. Like, for example, right here, they have uh, this uh, smart camera right here, another camera, uh, smart camera here, and a video doorbell. All these are uh, decent items if you, you know, just look at them and think you want to buy them and so forth. But I would say to, you know, hold on for just a minute. Unless you're really a Harbor Freight fan and you really want to buy these items, um, you know, consider other brands. Like, for example, the doorbell. 
I have uh, another video that I did from uh, Heimvision where I purchased a doorbell from them and I uh, have a review video showing you everything about that doorbell. You can get it cheaper than this on Amazon and it is a very good quality doorbell. Same with the um, cameras right here, indoor outdoor security camera. 60 bucks for one camera is rather expensive. Uh, when you start thinking about it, one camera is not gonna cover much. So you're gonna have to add more cameras. At 60 bucks a piece, check out the video that I have on a complete security system from Heimvision where you get six cameras with the control box and all that kind of good stuff for only 200 bucks. Now think about it. You can't get six cameras and the base unit and everything at 60 bucks a piece. You just can't do it. So the other system from Heimvision is much, much better than this for only 200 bucks. Maybe even cheaper because they put coupons on Amazon all the time. So check out that video. You may, if you want to put a security system in your house, you may like that a whole bunch better. Now this is an item that I can say is a decent item, decent price right here. A paint roller, best quality. The thing about this one is it's not your basic paint roller. If you've done any kind of painting, if you've done some, you know, a lot of painting, extensive amount of painting, you know that the cheapy rollers, they have a tendency where the foam pad will, it, uh, the more you're using it, it tends to come out. It tends to roll itself out of there. So this roller has right here little clips that grab really tight onto the roller itself so it won't budge and it won't move out of there. And I can tell you, I've been painting since I was like probably 10 years old or something like that. My parents put me to do stuff really, really young. And uh, I always hated those. And many years ago, I got me one of these, the same design at Home Depot. And I think it was like 16 bucks. So at $4.99, that is a bargain. So don't get it at Home Depot in this case. Definitely look at that. If you want, I, I still have it. It's a good quality uh, handle. And, uh, you know, it'll last you a long, long time. But if you're tired of the foam pad run, rolling itself out on you, my goodness, that can be so annoying when you're painting, constantly having to push that thing back in getting paint on your hands and all that. Oh, get one of these. You'll really, really enjoy it. And here we go. These are just uh, add-ons basically to their existing lines, whether you want, uh, you know, different items to be held on the side of your uh, carts and so forth, your uh, cabinets. These are magnetic, so they don't mess up your, you know, cabinet. You don't have to drill into it, any of that kind of stuff. There you go. Hand sanitizer, $3.99. And these creepers. 34 bucks. They put these on sale also. Pittsburgh Automotive, you can definitely use a 20% off coupon. So these are good. You can use the coupons or wait for them to be on sale. And these jacks, they're basically uh, a rebranding, uh, so to speak, or just a uh, continuation of their existing line because they've already had these bottle jacks. So they're bringing in a better quality bottle jack. You know, that's what these are. They'll probably phase out all the older ones, but they're still the Pittsburgh brand. And uh, they're good jacks. I have a review video I did of one of their jacks, and I think it was a four-ton just like this one. And they're good jacks. I have no complaints except for the handle. The jack itself was good. The handle is atrocious. I really, really hated that handle. I had to make my own handle. That's all I could do because the handle was so bad in the middle of pumping and stuff like that. It'll come apart on you. That is my only criticism. Harbor Freight, make a better handle. You got a good quality jack, but the handle is really sucks. Here you go, a battery tester for $4.99. That's something convenient to keep on hand. Uh, fire resistant bag, 20 bucks. Let's see, uh, wall mount uh, for the flag. Now, a 200 foot laser distance meter. This is not something that they have had before. So this is a new addition, 69 bucks. Eh, kind of pricey, but it can come in handy if you're doing a lot of measuring and stuff like that And you don't want to have to roll a lot of tape measure and all that this can be quite convenient for you So I may look into this at some point in the future It's not something I use all the time just something to look into see how accurate it really is See a rechargeable magnetic floodlight eh, 29 bucks Yeah, might be good might not 750 lumens that's not too bad i mean i'd have to look at the cob to see how that's put together but it looks decent at least on paper it looks fairly decent and a different kind of brush here nice short angle paintbrush a wrench bottle opener i mean you gotta have that bottle opener when you're in the shop right can't be without it 
And these are not really new per se, the nine drawer mobile storage cabinet. These have been around for a while. It's just the color. They're just adding the color. And I believe these are already in the store. So they just keep adding more colors to uh, just make it more attractive to more people. Here you have the white one. So the, the cart's already been around. They're just adding more colors to it. And the offset wrenches from Icon, 59 bucks. Again, pricey because you're paying for the Icon name. But if they have these in Pittsburgh Pro, you're probably a whole lot better off. You get them a lot cheaper and they're just as good. There you go, a safety vest for $8.99. That comes in handy. Uh, Demo hammer, $2.99. Well, you got a couple of them here. Uh, you know, Rory Speed hammer over here, $2.99 over this one, and $2.99 for that one, both of them. These are pretty good. I mean, obviously, you know, $2.99 is not cheap, but when you need them, you need them, and they do the job. So these are decent tools and obviously going to be a whole heck of a lot cheaper than if you were to get like uh, Milwaukee or something like that. Those are expensive. So keep that in mind for the Hercules brand right there. And uh, a drill pump. There you go. $9.99. They've, they've had this before. I don't know if this may be an improving of the same thing they already had, but they've had one of these on hand. And here you go. Like I said, uh, the jacks. Here's a 12 ton and there's probably another one further on down. And here you have some uh, hole saws with the diamond grit. So these are new. These have not been around before. So they're adding on different sizes to the hole saws. And these are pretty good diamond grit. These are going to be useful for cutting, uh, you know, plastic, uh, metal, tile, glass, ceramics, fiberglass, anything like that. You're not going to use these to cut wood. Don't, don't even bother using it to cut wood because you're just going to burn into the wood. So for everything else, they do come in handy. And here you have the 24 foot 12 bulb LED light strips, 39 bucks. Oh, that's a little too pricey. That's a bit too much. Uh, they do put these on sale in the $20 range, 24, 26, something like that. So keep an eye. If you want these, keep an eye when they go on sale. Now, this is something new here. This is uh, useful. I guess if you're, uh, you know, out in the field and you need to uh, charge up your, your phone, your tablet, computer, whatever it is that you may need, uh, anything that needs uh, an external power source that you can charge it up to, uh, this is a USB power source, basically a battery bank. What you do is you hook this up to your Bauer battery and you turn it into a battery bank. So for $17.99, that's not too bad. The only problem, the only gripe I have is that it only has two chargers. Unless it has two more on the front, which obviously I can't see, I'd have to look deeper into this item to see if it has two on the front and two on the back. But they should really, if they don't have it already, they should add two more. Because, I mean, you know, only charging two items at a time, that can be a little slow. And you're using a 20-volt battery, so it should be able to take it where you could power up more items instead of just two. If they haven't done it yet, maybe that's an improvement they'll make for the future, but... Uh, this is a convenient thing to have if you're on the job site and you need to power up your phone, tablet, whatever. 18 bucks is not very expensive in my opinion. Pencil gauge, 4 bucks. Uh, these are terribly inaccurate. I wouldn't even bother with that. Continuous rim blade with mesh rim. Okay, these are good for, uh, you know, cutting into uh, uh, composite boards, uh, cement boards, that kind of stuff. These are pretty good. 28 bucks, not bad. 99 bucks for the 20 volt lithium ion cordless brushless uh, grinder tool from Hercules. Um, again, they're trying to compete. They're trying to go up against DeWalt with these tools. And whether they're good or not, I really haven't looked too much into the Hercules, but a lot of people seem to be happy with them. Some people say that they are basically uh, professional grade. So if you need something, uh, you know, comparable to a DeWalt, you can look at this. My only gripe is that they are the same as DeWalt in pricing as well. So why would you switch from DeWalt to Hercules? I mean, if you're already in the Hercules family, maybe you want to keep adding more tools. I can totally understand that. But if you're really going to go head to head against DeWalt, why? What is the alternative? What is, what is the benefit to switching over? If you're already in the DeWalt family, you'll just stay there. So they should knock it down a little bit more to at least make the price a bit more enticing. Here you go with another jack, 20 ton hydraulic jack right there, 40 bucks, not bad. Very good jacks, very strong, great to keep in the back of your car or something like that. The handle is just, oh, I hate that handle. So that's the only thing to watch out for, the handle is terrible. 
There you go. If you want to get a cheap drone with a camera already built in, that's pretty good right there. 50 bucks. Uh, this is, I guess, a top gift. I don't know if it's a brand new item or just something to really uh, sell a lot of. But these are convenient if you want to be able to check out your roof to see if you have any damage or leaks or any of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, just get an aerial view of whatever it is you want to look at. Uh, you know, a landscape, uh, a large community, whatever. Uh, you know, it's uh, inexpensive, 50 bucks. And, um, you know, again, like I said, for looking over your roof to see if you have any damage or leaks up there, it's better than having to go up there in person and take a chance on falling off. So tools like this do come in handy for things like that. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This knife, the flip type knife. I like these knives much better than the other one. Uh, it's uh, cheaper, I believe it is, and or even if it wasn't, I just think these are much, much better. They're safer. I've never seen the blade on this one to flip out of the housing and to, you know, cut your finger. So I would def I, the other one should just be discarded, thrown away, uh, eliminated altogether. Switch over to this type, you'll be much, much happier. And here you have the uh, built and spindle sander. Uh, this is not really brand new. They already had this around. Again, this is more of a rebranding. They've uh, this was the Chicago Electric, and they've made it into the Bauer brand. So this is an existing item that's been rebranded into the Bauer, and therefore the price goes up. Now, whether the uh, Chicago Electric is still in the stores or whether that will be going away very soon, I, I can't tell you that, but. They are taking a lot of the uh, Chicago Electric stuff and rebranding it so they can charge you more and eliminating the cheaper ones. So, you know, keep an eye on the uh, Pittsburgh stuff and the Chicago Electric stuff. And if you really like them, get those before they disappear, because I have a feeling a lot of those cheaper stuff are going to be going away. Uh, you know, Harbor Freight wants more money. They need to make more money. That's just all it is. They're, you know, a discount store, but they don't want to be too much of a cheapy discount store. They want to make more money. And, you know, I can understand that. I don't fault them for that. But, um, you know, I'm looking out for you guys too. So I'm telling you, if you want the cheaper stuff, take advantage of it while it's still there. Here you have another power item. Lithium cordless uh, inflator, deflator tool, that kind of thing. These are good for, you know, inflating uh, air mattresses, uh, probably bicycle tires, uh, basketballs, uh, all that kind of good stuff. I don't know if it has the power to inflate a car tire, but you just uh, take this little guy right here and put a Bauer battery on it, and you're good to go. So that comes in handy for that. And here you have a couple more jacks, a 30-ton. I don't know if they had this one before. I think it only went up to the 20-ton, but I could be wrong. I don't remember every last one of these jacks, but I know they had the 8-ton before, 25 bucks. That's cheap. That's really cheap. You go to... Um, you know, Home Depot or something like that, or Lowe's, you're going to be paying a lot more for one of these jacks. So these are good items. And this right here, the Centec, uh, 612, two amp, three stage uh, battery charger, 19 bucks. That's not too bad. I have a Stanley one, which is the same thing, but it's only a one amp. And I think that cost me about 20 bucks a couple years ago as well. So for 20 bucks, you're getting a two amp double the uh the you know charging ability of mine that's not too bad i'd say that's a decent price right there being a centec you can always use a 20 percent off coupon on that so knock it down even cheaper canvas cloth 27 bucks that's not bad compared to home depot stuff uh, again a variable speed polisher sander 89 bucks pretty decent again rebranded into the bower uh, the corded uh, close quarters drill a right angle drill right here not bad 50 bucks you know, this is, this is one thing that I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a warning up front. Nothing about the product itself. Nothing wrong with the product itself. But I'll just tell you from experience, this is one of those things that if you aren't going to be using it a lot, don't buy it. Because I, myself, I think I only needed it once. And I struggled with a regular drill. So I said, you know what? I'm going to buy one of these in case I need it again. And I have never needed it again. So it's one of those things that it seems like a great idea. You buy it, you put it in your drawer, and then you forget about it and never use it again. So don't waste your money unless you constantly need a use for this. You know, it, it's just no good to throw money away. Buy something more useful, something you really will use. And here you have another battery charger, 54 bucks. Not too expensive, not too, too bad. 
cordless stapler, 45 bucks, not bad. And here you have, again, a reciprocating saw from Hercules, 99 bucks. Again, I don't see it, folks. I just don't get it. 99 bucks for a Hercules. You can go buy a DeWalt for 89 bucks. The DeWalt is cheaper. Why would you make the Hercules more expensive than a DeWalt? I understand where you're going for. You're going for that DeWalt market because I, I don't think they're trying to compete with uh, Milwaukee. No way. I don't think so. But uh, you can't make it more expensive than the DeWalt. It just doesn't work. So, I don't know. Unless you're a real fanboy, I, I, I don't see buying that. Here you have uh, hex key set, uh, different ones, metric, SAE, bolt cutters, eight bucks, not bad. And Raptor squares, 12 inch, seven inch, uh, decent prices. Again, you know, Doyle, metal ones, not bad. This little indoor light, 10 bucks, I've seen it cheaper. Uh, use a 20% off coupon or wait for it to go on sale. They, they put them cheaper. Let's see, this uh, dual vacuum uh, pressure hand kit, um, you know, 59 bucks is a little bit expensive and what I don't like about these kits is that it comes loose just the way you see it. I bought one of these a while back on Amazon and it came with a carrying case and everything. Because look at all these little bits and odds and ends here, bits and bobs. You don't want to lose all this, so you're going to have to come up with your own box to put this stuff in. I'd check out the stuff on Amazon, you can get it cheaper and with a carrying case much much easier to keep all this stuff organized there you go all sorts of tarps and blades and this is what i was talking about earlier right here with the uh, hercules light well here is the bauer version of that light and 29 bucks wasn't the hercules 27 bucks so this is actually more that's kind of crazy 295 lumens well i think that one was 270 so 295 wow that's that's kind of weird why would you make the bauer better than the hercules that doesn't make sense but whatever anyway i think you can get the stick one the um you know other one from um uh, i forget if it's luminar or who the heck it is that makes it or whatever anyway i already put a link up to that and you can go check that out but the other one is a much better deal 300 lumens and it's only like 22 bucks so the other one's a better deal than this one and i like the shape of the other one better than this and here you have a lithium ion sprayer. I guess if you're spraying a lot and you really don't want to have to pump it up, may as well get one that works with a battery. So that's pretty good. That's pretty convenient. Uh, let's see the tape here. That's not too bad. 105 feet, 399, four bucks. That's not bad. I think the last time I was at Home Depot, uh, the 3M brand, which this is 3M. So the 3M brand at Home Depot was like around six bucks. So four bucks, that's cheaper than Home Depot. That's not bad. So I would definitely get it there. And here you have some of their new shop lights where 3,000 lumens, 5,500 lumens, 26, 34. You, they're linkable, so you can link four or you can link eight. Not bad. Not bad at all. Because the regular one, I think it's like 19 bucks. So for a few bucks more, that's pretty decent right there. And you can link a bunch of them without having to wire them all separately pretty good and here you have one 10,000 lumens that's not bad because this one probably has like four bulbs in it that's pretty decent right there 54 bucks not cheap but if you consider buying some of the other ones separately then that's a pretty good deal right there and this is adding um, more to the earthquake line so that's another tool for the earthquake line right there and some gloves nitrite gloves hardy uh, I don't know why 7 mil at 19 bucks. Gosh, I don't know why. What's, what, what makes you so special? Because, I mean, you can get the 7 mil cheaper than that right now, existing. So, I don't see powder-free. Well, I think the other ones are powder-free, too. So, I don't know. Well, oh, XXX large? Okay. Okay, I guess if you've got really, really, really big hands, you're going to pay more. <laughs> anyway. So looking at the wobble set right here, the seven piece wobble set from Icon, 40 bucks. Okay, people, right here, unless you really love Icon and you really wanna pay the extra price, you can get the Pittsburgh Pro for like 20 bucks. All right, so go get the Pittsburgh Pro, save yourself the money. I don't see the point in paying for the Icon. They both have a lifetime warranty, so I really don't see the point. Here you go, the Centex 79.99, again, another charger. They got plenty of chargers, man. Whether you want to charge it up or a battery bank or whatever you're looking for, they got plenty of these at Harbor Freight. 
And now here you have one of the complaints when Bauer first came out, people were complaining that they didn't have enough big batteries. Well, they had the 1.5, they had the 3, uh, uh, 3.0. Now you got the 5.0, 60 bucks, not cheap, but cheaper than other name brands. So that's not too bad. I mean, 60 bucks is not cheap, but if you compare it to, uh, you know, the Walt brand or a Milwaukee brand or, you know, some of the other ones like that, that's not too bad. So if you're in the Bauer family, you can ex expand upon your battery collection. And there you got some uh, metal trays. Here you have a bigger one, 20 bucks. These can come in handy. Yeah, if you got a lot of stuff going on, those come in really, really handy. Knee pads. These guys, oh my God, I hate those. I've tried these different ones, and I hate them. I just, uh, I don't know. If, if you guys like wearing these, if you're, uh, you know, bending over all the time and doing stuff, and they protect your knees, I, they're a good idea. I'm not saying they're a bad idea. They're a good thing to have. I just have not found a pair that I find comfortable. They always wind up bunching up, you know, kinking up back here, moving around, moving up, moving down. It's always some kind of problem. Uh, tell me what you guys do down in the comments. If you use this kind of stuff or if you just, uh, you know, <laughs> mess up your knees like I do. <laughs> it's just one of the things I have never found one that works properly for me. Here's not too bad. Again, uh, adding to the Bauer line, the uh, lithium ion cordless shear shrubber tool. Uh, again, this is not a bad thing. 44 bucks, that's pretty good. It's very, very close in price to what a corded brand would do. But again, you can, you're can you using a battery, so you don't have a cord to deal with. And you're getting two tools in one. So you can uh, you know trim uh, uh, close up to the shrub or more of a longer reach, whatever it is you need to do. You can switch the head back and forth. 44 bucks, that's not bad. I think if you buy the plug-in corded ones, they're like 35 to $40 right there. So that's a decent one right there. See, some of them, on some of them, they come up with good prices. On some of them, not so much. Like right here, uh, the Icon brand, 50 bucks for nut drivers, seven piece. My goodness, that seems way too expensive for me to get nut drivers at 50 bucks. But then again, like I said, I'm just I'm, I'm just one guy here, and I think uh, you can get uh, better deals from the other lines that they have. Again, here you have the professional socket extension, you know, from Icon. Again, 44 bucks. The Pittsburgh Pro, you can get them a whole lot cheaper than that, folks. Uh, the S-shaped wrenches. I don't know if they have these in the Pittsburgh Pro line. So if they don't, then you got to buy the Icon one. And these can come in handy under certain applications, but they're not cheap. Now this here, the Bauer, uh, uh, you know, impact or the drill, and you have two different drills to choose from, that one here and this one here. This is not a new tool. This is not it's an existing line, Bauer. It is not a new tool. It is basically a repackaging. Up until now, you can only get the driver or the drills with the battery and the charger and pay more now if you already have a battery and charger you can just get the tool alone tool only tool only and tool only so it basically gives you a choice of how you want to buy these tools so again it's a repackaging not a brand new tool this right here the variable speed oscillating tool 69 bucks for the bauer Again, I don't understand why you would pay 69 bucks for the Bauer, where you can go get the Chicago Electric for half the price. So, again, sometimes they come up with too many tools all together competing against each other. I would personally say go with the cheaper one. There's really no point in that. Uh, same as right here. The uh, corded uh, palm sander, you have an orbital one and a regular palm sander here. Uh, 2.4, 3-amp, 5-inch, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. They're both very, very comparable. One's round, one's square, 44, 59. Again, I don't see a reason to pay that kind of money for the Hercules brand unless you're using them every single day and beating the snot out of them because I tell you, I have a Black & Decker one that I bought really cheap years ago and it has worked out just beautifully for me and no problem at all. You would really have to be beating the snot out of these guys to get them to break. It's a very simple tool. They don't break. So, uh, you know, again, if you're really an, a, a fan of Hercules, and this one, you don't even have to be in the family because it's corded. So it's not like you need to use their batteries or anything. So you would really just have to be a fan to want to buy that. 
So, you know, I leave it up to you guys. And here's another light uh, for the Bauer brand. 200 lumens, 25 bucks. Again, get the other, the stick light. Much, much better than this. Same price. Same price. And the other one, you, you know, it comes with a single battery. You just pop one in, keep a, a couple in your pocket. If it wears out, unscrew it, put another battery in, you're good to go. Where this one, you have to use the Bauer battery, which takes longer to recharge. So keep that in mind. This right here is not bad. An electrical box cutout for your oscillating tool, 15 bucks. You know, this is not something you're going to use, uh, you know, if, if you're not using it on a regular basis, it's not worth buying. But if you're an electrician, you're cutting out these boxes on a daily basis, 10, 20, 30, 100 cutouts every day, you're going to love this tool. 15 bucks is not expensive. And if you're an electrician, you will definitely love that tool. So I say that's a good thing to have on hand if you're doing that kind of stuff every day. These little lights right here, $5.99, that's pretty decent. They're pretty good. And it's dimmable. So four cobs, that'll give you some good illumination right there. 328, that's pretty decent right there. For six bucks, that's a decent light, not bad. See, that's why I tell you, well, you can take some of these cheapy lights and get as much power out of them as some of the more expensive lights. Same as like right here, these uh, heat guns. 54 bucks for the Hercules, 49 bucks for the Bauer. My goodness, why would you want something so expensive? Uh, you got to use the battery. Okay, that's that's a pro right there. That's a good thing. You don't have a cord, but the Warrior one, and, you know, they're they're way cheaper. And they don't have one right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they make one of these for the Warrior brand. And then that'll be way cheaper. That's one I would definitely recommend instead of these guys. This guy right here, the Auto Feed Drain Cleaner tool, 50 bucks. That is a good idea. That one I do like. Uh, it is cordless. You can put the you know the power battery on it 50 bucks does not seem very expensive to me and whether you're just you know doing it around the house for yourself or whether you're a professional a handyman a plumber you walk in with one of these no dirty cord to drag around to plug in somewhere no extensions to worry about you just walk up to the drain put the snake into it clean it up five minutes you're out of there and if you kink it up here's a good thing that they're doing you have a replacement snake right here because that's a 23 footer in this one so there's your 23-footer replacement one right there, 20 bucks. Because we know Harbor Freight is not good at giving you replacement items. So at least this one, they thought it ahead. So that's pretty cool right there. And there you have some stud sensors that you can pick from. Either, you know, cheaper or better. Franklin, there you go. You can pick whichever one works for you. This guy right here, the uh, Bauer, again, um, you know, pole saw, 89 bucks. You know, I did a review of uh, their other one, uh, Chicago Electric, or I forget which uh, brand uh, it's labeled under. And I think the other one is a much better deal. It is cheaper than this one, and it is stronger and sturdier. Uh, obviously, this one uses a battery. The other one is corded. But the other, this one has an aluminum uh, extension pole right here, which tends to break and bend and get damaged more easily. The other one that I own and I've used for quite a while and I did a review on has a fiberglass pole. So it is a little heavier, but it is much stronger, much sturdier. So, you know, if you want it to last you longer, I would use the other one. I've had it for years and I've not had any problems whatsoever with it. And here you have a cordless transfer pump, 99 bucks. Uh, it's not cheap. But if you need a pump and you want it to be portable and battery operated, then that's what you'd be looking for right there. That's pretty convenient. And here you have some uh, stubby um, screwdriver set, $5.99. That's not too bad. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end it all right here for you guys. And I'm going to give you a gift of a 10% off coupon for tool storage cards, Yukon or U.S. General. And this is still good until the end of the year. So take advantage of it right now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.